Hi, this is Joe with Jay Alexander Roofing. I'm here today performing a video inspection of the roof. I'm also going to take measurement for purpose of estimate. Bear with me, I got a lot of sound in the, in the background, so hopefully you can hear me throughout this. You got a leak somewhere in the front of the house. I can see there's been a patch made there. Um, the more I look around, though, there's nails popping up in several different spots. So we've got areas of caulk like this, but it, even more important, um, this, shing this shingles are pretty worn out. We've got a lot of the leading edge of the fiberglass starting to show through. When you start to see the fiberglass mat show through the shingles, that's pretty much your shingles cry for help. It's, it's letting you know that it's, it's, pat it's, it's getting to the point where it's placed out. Just that, That's how the naturally wear out. Nothing specific to your house. When the granulars are gone, you start to lose the weatherproofing of it. Um, and then back here, kind of the same thing. We've had some halfway attempts to make patches back here. Some busted shingles over here. Some of this could have been previous wind damage, not really sure, but as you can see on this video, it, it's pretty worn out. This chimney over here, uh, we always have problems with these chimneys. Right here you have step flashing with absolutely nothing covering it, so as you can imagine, rain hits this chimney, it's going to get into your house. There's no way around it. If you're not seeing water in your, in, on your ceiling at some point, you're very lucky because this is kind of a disaster waiting to happen. We would put a saddle behind this, kick out all the water around it, flash it and then counter flash it. We have a system, I, I run in these metal chimneys a lot, so I do know how to take care of that. And then the last thing I'll say, your ventilation. You do have some some roof louvers up here. What I would do in this part, in this particular house, eliminate all these, so patch those in with sheeting, and then max out your ridge vent. I would actually do the same on the garage. Um, there's so many roof louvers back there, you're probably pretty well ventilated. It just, it looks better and it's more functional to have a ridge vent, in my, in my professional opinion. So, I'm gonna separate these estimates, but basically come in, tear it all down to the decking, ice and water in the, in the valleys, ice and water on the eaves, ice and water around all your penetrations, new boots, um, we'll protect the gutters. Gutters aren't in that bad of shape, they're just, uh, they're full of some shingle granules right now. And then we put you back together with a, uh, with the shingle of your choice. I'll give you a couple different options on that as well. Joe with Jay Alexander Roofing. Now I'm just going to start pulling estimates, or start pulling measurements, and I'll get with you on the estimate. Thank you.